What's up guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Ryan and on Entirely Honest, I hope to improve your life by sharing the ways that I improve mine. And in this video, I'll be talking a little bit about getting out of a rut. So me personally, I've been in a bit of a rut lately, especially when it comes to running. So this weekend, I've decided to try to take action and try to get out of that rut. And I'm doing so by running twice and swimming twice in this cold lake at my dad's cottage here. So usually when I come to the cottage, it's like really relaxing and I try not to do anything. And there's actually like no place to run around here. So I'm actually using the neighbor's canoe and canoeing back to where we drove in and then running over there. And that's actually, it was, I did it today and it was like super fun. So I just wanted to make this quick video and kind of like talk a little bit about like how taking action can really help you get out of those ruts or at least it helps me. And I'm hoping that after this weekend, after the two runs and the two cold dips or whatever, I can get back home and just kind of hit the ground running when it comes to my running training because I am having to run a half marathon by the end of the year and I've really been slacking on the, uh, the training for that. So I'm hoping this kind of like kickstarts it and I hope you guys find it valuable as well. So sick. Okay. <laughs> it's a fantastic J stroke, right? Alright, so I'm about one kilometer into the run here and as you can tell around me, the trees are just absolutely gorgeous out here and it's super great. And even though today is a little bit rainy, a little bit cold, I'm super happy. I got out today and got a run in, just showing you guys a little bit of what I see on this run. It's quite a bit nicer when there's these beautiful trees, that's for sure. And even though it's rainy, every once in a while the sun peek out of those clouds and you get that nice beautiful sunshine i didn't have the the best sleep last night so i thought about not even doing this run but just pushing through that feeling really good out here and i'm sure i'll sleep a lot better tonight all right just coming up on kilometer three now a lot of hills here but uh feeling good not too worried about pace today just focus more yeah, six minute pace. One second. A lot of hills, so just kind of worried about, not worried, but just trying to focus on uh, distance today. All right, so 3.75K into the run. I decided to take a little water break here. But yeah, just so happy I got out today. And I think that's the best thing to do whenever you like, you feel like you're in a rut. Or for me, I haven't ran in a long time. Uh, when I should have been running, when I should have been training for this uh, half marathon. But just get out there, get something in, and uh, it might not be the best pace, maybe not the distance you wanted, but at least you're out there and uh, you'll feel really good afterwards. So I think I'm going to go for another loop, so another probably probably hit at least 5k, and uh, then call it a, a day for the running. And then I'll be in that cold, cold lake a little bit later this afternoon. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching me, me freeze in the lake. <laughs> All right, so that is it. I got 5.08K and it was 30 minutes and 46 seconds, which is not my best time, but there was some really steep hills there and I'm just glad I got a run in today. It's pretty nice though. <laughs> All right, we did it. It's day one, we made it into the lake. Pretty cold, 55 degrees, and oh, but you're, you kind of like adjust to it. And there's this guy I watch, Owen Jackson, I'll give him a shout out. He always does cold exposure stuff. I don't do it that often. I do have rain odes, but it seems to be okay right now. And uh, yeah, it feels good to be out here though. And then I'll be back at it tomorrow, another run, another cold exposure. Just trying to make the best out of this weekend. Thought about not running today. Feet are a little sore from yesterday, but change up the shoes, put on the toe, toe socks, some squirrels nut butter. We're back on the lake here. 
Perfect. Oh yeah. All right, it's day number two, the second run. Back out here, it's a beautiful sunny day this time, which is really nice. It's also a little bit warmer and there's less wind, which is awesome. So yeah, I'll be going for another run. I'm not sure if I'll get to 5K like I did last time. My feet are kind of sore from yesterday, but uh, yeah, definitely give it a shot and see how it goes. See you then. All right, just in the start of the run here, things are going pretty well. I thought I'd have a slight issue with my knee because it was a little sore from yesterday, but it seems to be going well. So yeah, I'll check in with you later. All right, so I'm just over 2K in the run. Feeling really good, feet are holding up really well, which is nice. So I could probably get another 5K in today. And yeah, just the, the weather today, the sun, everything is just absolutely gorgeous. So definitely making the most out of the day and that cold water dip, gonna be really nice afterwards. All right, so I'm just coming up on kilometer four here. And I'm remembering the 40% rule. And if you don't know what the 40% rule is, it's that most people give up when they've only reached 40% of what they're capable of. So I'm definitely going for five kilometers today and maybe even six. Let's see what happens. So just hit 5k, about 28 minutes. I think I'm gonna go for six, but I avoided that long ass hill. I ran that like two times already. I'm done with that fucking hill. <laughs> but yeah, overall feeling good. Likes feel good, feet feel good, and I feel good. This is that hill I was talking about. It wraps all the way up and around. And I'm done with that. I can't believe I almost gave up. Almost didn't come out for the run. Had a sore knee and it felt really good this morning. Did some stretches and I'm out here almost hitting 6K. It feels great. And I'm so glad I didn't listen to myself when I was talking about giving up. I didn't really pick up the pace for the last little bit here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. Kilometer six. Six. Eight. Six minutes, Six minutes five, five seconds. seconds. There it is, 34 minutes, 16 seconds. 6.02K, 541 average pace. Pretty damn good. I'm glad I got it done. Now all that's left is to do the uh, last cold dip. And then this weekend will be a success. <laughs> All right, so this is the last cold exposure of the cottage trip. Kind of nervous, but I think it's gonna be really good. Might go for a little bit of a swim too, and I'll kind of like vlog in the water and to let you guys know how it's going. Oh, the balls are the worst part. All right, so I'm about halfway in now. It's pretty cold. I'm pretty cold. Just gonna let my bottom half warm up a little bit. Then I'll go fully submerged there. Oh man. All right, three, two, one. Ah! Oh. See, it's really cold once you first get in, but once you're in, it's not so bad. You warm up pretty quick. All right, that was it. That was super cold in the water. I actually did a little bit of like front crawl swimming and my face is just freezing when it's in the water and you're swimming like that. But overall, it felt really good. Now it's time to just go and tr relax in the hot tub, have a nice, nice hot shower and just chill. Oh. 
From the cold to the hot. Ah. Oh, that feels so good. Well deserved. Well earned. Ah. Oh. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a like. Let me know what you thought about the video down in the comment section below. Also, what do you do to get out of a rut whenever you're kind of like out of your routine and trying to get back into it? I find personally like exercise is just kind of like that way that really works well for me, especially like cardio exercise and running or biking or something. So yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.